facts, but we're going to be talking about griefing in Season of Mastery, Road to Rag. Um, and it's inevitable, it's going to happen. And today we're going to talk about methods of how people are going to grief and how you can go around it. So I was shared a clip on why target dummies are useful. And we're going to start off with this clip and see what it has to offer. So this is a five man dungeon group. Um, this isn't. Um, I feel like jump into this tin vein and then hearth and out. <laughs> this isn't traditionally what I think griefing is going to look like in hardcore, but you could get grief by your your own five man group. Um, it looks like these guys are trying to get into dead mines or they're completing the quest outside of it. Uh, but we are told here, I got my man Frey Wolf in here, a couple other people, why target dummies are essential. Um, and so we're going to see him go out. We got the tactical ding. I can only imagine. I got, we got a warlock pet. We have two hunter pets. It's about to get spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Be very careful. There's like people. <laughs> oh, they pulled like the entire instance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Frey Wolf almost down. Look at the target dummy absorbed like six mobs right now. Line oh my Frey, gosh. Another target dummy. Run if you can, boys. Run if you can. Yeah, <laughs> they pulled the whole dungeon already. Dude, this is clip. This clip is better than I thought it, it was run, gonna run, be. Run, run, run. They pulled all of Van Cleef's minions, man, just outside of the dungeon. Holy! Don't tell me every single one of them survives. There goes the desperate prayer. Seems like all the cooldowns are out. I don't know where their buddies are. Nobody's looking We're back. The other way. This is a great segue. Wait, we, we broke combat? I'm out of combat? Oh, you got out! <laughs> okay, and here comes the other team on the safe. other side. So there was a lot of chaos going on in this clip. That was a great intro to why target dummies are going to be essential for success in Season of Mastery, Road to Rag. So, first off, let's start off why you'll be griefed in Season of Mastery. Um, WoW is a griefer's game. We just recently got the Soul of Iron buff. Uh, we got official Blizzard support, so there's going to be a buff on our characters, which you can choose to activate. Um, you can only get it if you haven't died before. So, in theory, you could wait until 59, um, until you activate it, level 59, activate it, hit 60, and you'll continue to have that buff. And maybe you'll avoid griefing along the way, but um, for our Season of Mastery Road to Rag event, we're all going to require that you're in the guild, uh, because we have... An interactive add-on that is going to be able to monitor whether you're trading using the auction house using the mailbox um, some of the hardcore rules that we've always stuck with um, and so you're going to be in the guild no matter what so you're going to have a guild tag on if you don't choose to level with the soul of iron buff um, you might be streaming we're going to have a lot of coverage for this um, stay safe has been sponsoring with power gum and there's also an entire draft that's going to be going on there's going to be a lot of um, communities raiding each other and i would like to think a lot of you guys um, are going to be streaming as well and people will be able to access that. I mean, everybody loves a good stream snipe. There's a, but there's enough doomers out there that people will stream snipe you. Um, there's no consequence for multi-lifers. I wish we had a hardcore server, but that's not our situation. So we are preparing for the worst, expecting the best. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, but we are going to allow DC griefing protection. Um, we don't want to enable griefing. Um, we kind of want to shut it down because if we allow griefing to happen, it's just going to make the situation worse. Yeah, it feels bad that you won't have the Soul of Iron buff, and there might also be an achievement tied to killing Ragnaros with the Soul of Iron buff on, uh, but we've always allowed DC deaths to be a thing. That's been the one benefit of having our hardcore community on live servers and not necessarily a hardcore server. So uh, just expect to be griefed if you're going to be playing in the Road to Rag, and they, so these are some of the reasons why. So... Next, I'd like to talk to you guys about how to avoid the grief. Um, I'm going to go down this list. But first off, how do you get griefed? And I want to share with you, the most common way is going to be by pulling mobs on top of you. You know, a hunter or rogue is going to try and feign death, vanish, pull mobs on top of you. Um, I still don't know exactly how pulling mobs and getting on, you know, mobs threat table that you didn't pull yourself. I, I don't know exactly how it works. And so I would like to share with you... A clip from our good friend Parla, um, which actually has a really good video on this. There's no sound, but this one, this is the one clip that has puzzled me throughout all the years. I've, I've seen very obvious clips where the mobs get dragged over somebody, 
um, they vanish, they, or, or even somebody dies, you know, that pulled three mobs, and the mobs leash on top of you. I've also seen the exact same scenario where the mobs don't leech on you. Um, and so, this one racks my brain. I still don't know exactly how it works. Parla's working on his warrior quest chain. He's just streaming, um, doing his thing, but I'm gonna freeze it right here. Look to the left. Um, he's level 38 warrior. That elemental to the left is level 39. It doesn't look like he's in aggro range, but he might have pulled it right here. So he pulls two mobs initially. This one doesn't get pulled. And what you're not going to see is there's a rogue right here. It doesn't look like an intentional grief. You know, this was this was like a year ago on, on the EU servers while Parlo was playing. But he pops out to complete this quest at this rock. And he ends up pulling all three of these elementals. It's really odd the way it works. Um, but as you'll see, those three mobs get chained to him. Parlo's doing his thing with these two mobs. It's a, it's a feels warrior. He, uh, he ends up popping cooldowns. He's using retail e even on these two mobs. He knows he needs it. And pay attention to the left side. Um, I don't think that it was a rogue. Maybe the rogue vanished, or, or he just got deleted by the three mobs. But only two of the three mobs come over here. And, you know, to this day, I still haven't figured out how Parla got on the threat table. Um, this is one of those... I've, I've seen more obvious attempts at griefing, and, you know, the mobs not get chained onto you. So, I thought this was a good clip to share with you guys. Um, you gotta keep your head on a swivel. Look to your right, look to your left at all times. You know, when you're playing a warrior, you really just want to pull one mob and prepare for pulling two or three. Or, in a situation like that, um, you would like to use target dummies. So, the number one thing you should do on how to avoid grief... Griefs, uh, it doesn't even have to be a grief, uh, as I'll show you in this clip, but everybody should level is engineering. So you might be asking yourself, you know, what professions am I going to level? Herbalism, Alk, maybe I'll go blacksmith, make myself some gear. Uh, leatherworking, tailoring, you could do any of these professions, right? But I truly do believe um, with this event in mind, Road to Rag, and us playing with multi-lifers, uh, not only are target dummies going to save you, you against the PvE world, it's also going to save you against the potential griefing. Um, and I want to show you how target dummies work in this next clip, and I'll show you why I think everybody should have them. Um, they require 85 engineering. The mats are pretty cheap to get them. I I've actually done a couple runs where I have target dummies as soon as like level 16, level 14. Um, you need about 180 copper ore, or if you're a gnome, you need like 100, 120 copper ore because of their engineering specialization. It's actually big plays, um, but it does take a while to go out of your way to do this, but the time spent leveling engineering and saving your hardcore run uh, is probably more time efficient than not getting dummies and not having this escape plan. So let me show you this next clip of target dummies in action. Um, let's cut this off for a second. Just see how effective a good raid lead is. Okay, we got respawns. Nice. If we get a patrol... We get a patrol respawn. We're in trouble. That's what I was going to say. Shiza! I got to make a decision. Shit. And... Dummy deployed. Oh, I got stunned. Dummy finally went out. So, you might be asking... You might not know what a target dummy is. This tier 1 target dummy, you can see him attacking it. It's got a thousand health. Um... I knew I was good, man, and I didn't even use my big health potion because I knew I was good. And if, so target dummies, the way it works is it's just like a warrior um, or a druid taunting off of somebody else. It puts you at the top of the threat table. Um, a stone claw totem, it pulses and generates threat, but it doesn't initially get to the top. So target dummies are insane. They get to the top of the threat table and then they have a minor pulse. If I would have health potted right here, um, if I'm a healing class, you know, target dummy and then you just stand in place and throw a healing touch on yourself you're gonna pull the threat off of the target dummy um and so i mean i like to go to my man rex Quando. okay now watch this i'm just gonna break the wrist and walk away break the wrist walk away Jeez. you drop the dummy walk away that, that's just that's what you do um this goes back to one of my clips at the bottom you use a dummy defensively never use a target dummy and stand there and try and take the mob on you just don't do it um, you should always dummy defensively. So you drop the dummy, walk away. Which is what we proceed to do in this clip. Um, it, like I said, if I would have health potted here, I'd probably pull threat. Look, and they already came to me, man. I don't understand, like, the proximity threat. Uh, they, they didn't kill the target dummy, but they dropped off of him right away. So the best way to use target dummies, man, you drop the dummy, you walk away. Um... I mean, I'm playing a warrior. I should have died right there. Pulled three mobs. And I'll also just... One more note on this. Nice. I, I, I want to just bring light to this to see how effective a good raid lead is. Okay, we got respawns. Nice. If we get a patrol... I just want to bring light to... get a to, patrol respawn, we're in trouble. That's what I was going to... 
sometimes, man, you might want to target dummy right here. Just take a moment and breathe. Don't don't use your abilities too fast. Don't say shy. I got to make a decision. Shit. Like, I thought about dropping the dummy there, and then I was like, you know what, on the way out, because I thought there was like another respawn um, outside of this cave that I was gonna have to deal with. So I wanted to dummy those three together and then deal with the one traveler right here. So I was saving the potion for this guy. He hadn't respawned, um, but just just breathe. You know, calm down. That's the best way to use a target dummy, in my opinion. How to avoid the grief? The number one thing is gonna be to have target dummies. Um, also in the open world, like I said, the most common way is going to be people trying to pull mobs on top of you. And we don't have the science figured out to how you get on the threat table, just like we saw in the parlor clip. Um, but the best thing you can do for yourself is going to be to try not to get on the enemy's threat table. That, that's how the mobs get pulled to you with AOE abilities. So uh, for some reason, I'll be honest, like using a health potion next to somebody that pulls three mobs next to you might put you on the threat table because you get healing aggro. I mean, I've, or using a bandage, you know, it, it doesn't take much. Still haven't had this figured out, but you gotta just be wary at all times. So try not to use AOE abilities. Um, that goes for like a demo shout, um, a piercing howl, whenever mobs are running by you. Also, if you're in an area where mobs use an AOE, uh, there might be mobs that you're encountering that have a demoralizing shout. They, they, You might get griefed and get those mobs pulled on top of you and they demo shout and they put the debuff on you and now I think you're on the threat table. So um, you want to have your target dummy ready. It's on a two minute cooldown. Um, and always be prepared for the worst. Uh, so whenever you're in those areas, just take it slow and steady, man. Realize I'm in a danger zone. Um, I'm not going to pull chain pull mobs. I'm going to be 100% health and mana before I pull. And then this is a great rule of thumb, not even just for griefing, but never pull more than one caster. If you have two casters on you and you get mobs pulled and chained on top of you, you're pretty much dead. If you don't get mobs pulled on top of you and you have two casters on you, you're still dead. Um... That's my rule of thumb. Never pull more than one caster, man. Literally just drop the dummy, walk away, or just retreat. Uh, you can deal with shadow bolts, fireballs. Uh, the worst is whenever you get a frost bolt that slows you. Uh, and you're not you're not a gnome and can escape artist out of it. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. So never pull more than one caster. Again, I, I hate this rule. Don't go into caves. I absolutely hate it. But I think for Season of Mastery, um, you're going to want to always be in open space. You might just skip the quest. Go grind mobs. You know, figure out a, a route. I would go to each zone if you really want to take, you know, Road to Rag seriously or give your chance, yourself the highest chance of success. Instead of doing the escort quest, instead of doing the quest that requires you to go into the cave, go figure out the most profitable mob, profitable mob to grind in the zone. Um, that would be my advice. Like we said, Rex Quando, he reminded us to dummy defensively. Uh, also, left click everything. You can do interact on target. This is in the options. I think it's system combat or clicking you're going to want to interact on left target so i would highly highly recommend you guys to condition yourself now before season mastery comes out to play with interact on left click um it's an option that you can toggle on whenever you loot whenever you talk to npcs in neutral cities uh they're 100 will be level ones of the opposite faction stealthed on top of the banker and ratchet um waiting for you to right click attack them and then you're just going to get mauled by guards um again that would be considered malicious griefing and we're not gonna we're not gonna encourage that we're not gonna allow like the griefers to get by on that but it, it will still be a feels bad there's a there's a way around it is what i'm trying to say also logging out on flight paths just never take an instance for granted man whenever you're flying um you can always slash exit game you can slash camp rather uh do the log out from the escape tool and while you're on a flight you can disconnect if for some reason we've seen it in the past there will be molten giants waiting at the foot of the flight path that you're going to um, especially if you're taking a long flight or somebody knows where you're going uh, just be wary of that um, do the best you can to avoid the griefing those are some of my tips and tricks also i want to show target dummy in action one more time um, to really just show you the power the servers are back dummies. on <laughs> so this quest again i probably wouldn't be in a cave i'm not going to do this escort gishon yeah i'm playing a warrior oh my man. gosh this is what I was talking about. Oh my gosh, Keyshawn! No! I got four enraged melee mobs and a caster in an imp. And I started with 75% health on a warrior. And target dummies are going to pull Juicer. me through. We used a big health pot. I'm trying to LOS. I, I mean, not to mention Keyshawn is the most badass escort in the game. He was the only reason I kind of stood here and really thought I could pull it off. Um, I got Keyshawn, lucky right there. The spellcaster was buffing his imp. Stay up, Keyshawn! I'm I throwing. can't keep buying anything! I'm throwing, man. So I, I want to show, I dropped the target dummy right here. If I would have been a big brain player, I think I could have gotten in range the summoner, as well as these two Blackrock. 
um, guards as well if I would have dropped the tummy, target dummy right here. So it's about a five yard range of when you get it in. Um, but yeah, you can, you can imagine without target dummy. Like, and, and right there, I crit on the imp. And somehow I generated enough I need enough rage for intimidating shout! To pull off Go! a target dummy. So this is an instance of target dummying offensively. I, I highly encourage not doing it. But in this case... It's just a flex. Look, my escort almost died. Keyshawn, he's, he's actually an elite mob. I don't think there's very many elite mobs in the game. Um, but yeah, man. That, that is the power of the target dummy. So, ladies and gentlemen... Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, my discussion on how to avoid griefing, and what I think is going to be inevitable in Seasons Mastery Road to Rag. Thank you all for tuning in. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash days, and I will see you on the next Road to Rag podcast.